it's captivated our imaginations, haunted our dreams. And here it is, spinning before our eyes. Saturn, the jewel in the solar system's crown. There's something magical about Saturn. A giant ball of gas, so light it would float on water. Its spectacular rings would stretch almost from Earth to the moon. But they're just a few hundred meters deep. The Cassini orbiter. It's picking up ghostly radio emissions, probably generated by auroras around Saturn's poles. This is the real music of the spheres. And it's telling us these rings are most likely all that's left of a moon shattered by Saturn's gravitational pull. Incomparable beauty from total destruction. Billions of shards of ice, some as small as ice cubes, others the size of houses. They collide, break apart, reassemble. It's like a snapshot of our early solar system. As dust and gas orbited the newly born sun, and gravity worked its magic, pulling the lumps together. Until from debris like this, our planet emerged. Every single object orbiting Saturn is technically a moon, from the smallest shard of ice to this. A moon larger than our own, Titan. It's shrouded by thick orange clouds. Beneath them, it seems like there's an atmosphere down here. There's wind, rain, even seasons. And rivers, lakes, and oceans. It's the most similar place to Earth we've seen so far. Except, that's not water. That's liquid natural gas. There must be hundreds of times more natural gas here than all the Earth's oil and gas reserves. If we could get it home, it could power our cities, fuel our cars for thousands of years. Or maybe, one day, we could use it here to fuel a colony. Assuming there isn't life on Titan already. The Huygen space probe, dropped onto Titan's surface from Cassini, is here to find out. It's telling us there are organic materials in the soil. But it's so cold, minus 180 degrees. There's no way these could come together to form life. Unless Titan warms up. The sun is predicted to get hotter. When it does, Maybe life will spring up here, just like it did on Earth billions of years ago. As the Earth gets too hot for us, maybe we'll move to Titan. One day we might call this distant moon home. Home. We're at least a billion kilometers away now. Beyond this point, we lose visual contact with the Earth. And whatever's out there is invisible from Earth with the naked eye. We're heading into the solar system's mysterious outer reaches. Territory that for most of history, nobody knew existed.
It's like diving down into the deep ocean. rings were only discovered in 1977. They make this giant planet look as though it's been tilted off its axis, toppled over in an ancient collision, perhaps with a stray planet. It feels a long way from home. But the truth is, we've barely left the shore. We're over two billion kilometers from Earth, but to reach the edge of the solar system, We've got to travel 10,000 times further.